Welcome back to another edition of Film Room with Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell brought to you by Twin Cities Orthopedics and coach another big win the whiteout was successful congratulations and it truly was all three phases of the game again. Yeah anytime you play a team well coached like the Giants are aggressive on defense they're going to grind it out on offense uh, to have really plays uh, come about for our offense against this team where we really uh, we're able to kind of isolate and highlight some of our best playmakers and then we'll show a special teams play that changed the whole game uh, in Josh Metellus's block punt. But wanted to start out, uh, this was a huge play in the second half. We're really uh, trying to isolate uh, some man coverage. We didn't get a lot of it on the day. So when we were able to get it on some of these known passings, this was a third down right here where you're really trying to isolate TJ as the innermost player. We've run this concept before. Fans will probably recognize it where we're trying to get kind of a natural pick uh, with both KJ and uh, JJ on the outside, uh, kind of trying to sell sell routes to win, but they're really trying to set a moving screen right here. We've got a bunch of combinations off this to try to protect it. So uh, the 31 other teams that are probably watching this segment as well, yeah. just know we've got some other things off this where it really does you no good uh, to card this one up at practice. But let's take a look at the execution of it. So TJ, see how he set the defense right there? He just sets that defense for a couple just to try to keep uh, that defender right there tucked long enough uh, that we can kind of get the moving screen set and then he's going to come right off the heels of JJ to that back pylon and Kirk this is where I think he's made huge advances this year and really the trust of not only the scheme but of, of his players to make some plays just putting this thing up on the top shelf uh, for TJ to go get and at 6'5", with his length, that's why we went and got him for these plays, just like that critical, critical catch in that moment. And this route, similar to Cooper Cup in the NFC Championship yep. game and Odell Beckham Jr. in the Super Bowl. I mean, when you have a receiver with that height, let the guys in front of him get in the way and just throw the wheel rods. Yep, it, and, it's and, and beautiful the, catch. Too. And beautiful catch, but you really, uh, in a game where they were sending some pressure, uh, here comes Landon right here. They're basically going to drop out. We call this a simulated pressure. They're going to drop out one of the bigs bring a pressure guy away. So it's still essentially a four-man rush. Kirk did a great job getting the slide going that way. And watch this protection right here. Just ends up being uh, just a huge wall right there where he's able to have that clear line of sight to be able to make this throw out there, step into it. And then, uh, you know, the ability now, even with the defender trying to recover and retrace, knowing where that ball's going for him to finish that catch, still get it in, uh, st still get those feet in, despite that uh, pretty creative paint job we had in the end zone for the whiteout. <laughs> I uh, thought it was a huge play. And then the CPR ensued right after that. That's exactly right. When we look at this one, uh, we'll finish up with another touchdown catch, uh, the critical one to JJ, but I thought this was such a huge play in the game. Matt Daniels and Ben Kotwika scheming up a, a chance to change the game with a block punt. Uh, and really, you're going to see a guy that's really been one of our MVPs on special teams all year long. You saw him get on the field on defense. But when you look at this from the end zone, Josh Metellus getting through, you'll see this. The center's actually going to work uh, right right here. Good scheme by our guys just to make sure they're going to be four for four over here on the right. And then what you're going to see is a little bit of a kind of a, an inside move by Metellus with Pat Jones uh, coming around on the loop stunt there. Just trying to isolate, see if we can get one guy free in the A-gap, and that's exactly how it played out. Uh, love there, the personal protector. One more time, if we could see that uh, love there from the, you know, he's basically designed uh, to be a catch-all. Hey, there's immediate pre penetration, but he's got to make a decision right here whether I'm going to go ahead and take Metellus coming through the A-gap or he feels the looper coming. Uh, something we've done multiple times this year. You could tell he was ready to handle Pat Jones as that looper, yep. uh, but with the center, uh, the long snapper working pretty aggressively away, opens up that A-gap two-on-one, and then you still got to go make that play and pick that ball off the punter's foot. A uh, huge, huge play to give us a short field, which we turned into a touchdown. And you see that stun on, with the defensive lineman a lot, and a lot of times it's the penetrator is yep. that, ends up being the guy that's free, and in this case it was Metellus. So, it's it's even if you're a DB, you got to know those D line stunts too. No, exactly right, and that's where Josh his his versatility to make plays on defense. He's a great cover guy in man coverage when we bring him in as that sixth DB, uh, good blitzer, good special teams player, uh, really an unsung hero for us all season long on those teams. And we're going to see him more and more on defense because of his full skill set that he brings to the table. And, and speaking of full skill sets, you know it seems like every week we're showing a Justin Jefferson type route. Um, and really, this was a critical play in the game, a third and long. Uh, the, 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 you know, the scales are kind of tilted in the high red zone 
to the defense, less vertical grass to defend. They can activate some of their double teams. Uh, so we're simply just running kind of a, a variation of a double out concept right here, thinking that uh, if they do want to try to double team Justin, maybe we'll get some inside leverage away and have a chance to throw the ball uh, to either that front or back pylon uh, on the front side. And really Justin uh, essentially getting what he has all season long. You see the corner pressed up on them, the safety. They're not trying to hide anything. No, no uh, disguise here. Those guys are essentially doubling him. Corner's gonna play with inside leverage, which is huge to look at uh, in this case. But just look at the front side of the combination first. Adam Thielen running the out cut, tying down that corner, and then KJ winning leverage. There was a chance right here uh, to throw that ball with the safety kind of staying uh, right there as the half field guy over the top, still visual on Kirk. Uh, there's a chance to throw that ball right there, potentially flatten that thing out to that grass. Uh, but Kirk sets his eyes over there, front side of the progression. But his trust in knowing that, in this case, Justin Jefferson working kind of out. He's got that inside leverage, so he's going to work the defender into a trail. And then watch what he does right here. Just the quick set, doesn't lose his speed, knows he's got that safety deep right where he wants him to where now this area of the field uh, when you look at what he's about to run into. This is where this defense is designed to not let him in there. But his ability, uh, if we look at it one more time from the, from the start of this, and then we'll slow it down here, just watch what he does on the release. He's going to stick, keep that inside lender, uh, defender in there, then work vertical uh, with enough juice right here to keep that safety tucked. And then at the top, he's just going to give a quick little set and then come race into the hash, we call it. Because now, at this point, no matter where the leverage was to start, where it is to finish is all that matters. And watch Kirk's decisiveness coming back at the top of his drop, takes a look at it front side, snaps his eyes back, and now right here, he's gonna start his arm and just the trust level of knowing that this defender's job is really to undercut that route. So when JJ sets that guy and then is able to race and beat him to this football, uh, this is as good as it gets from our best receiver. Uh, I, in my opinion, the best receiver in football. And then our quarterback's trust to start his arm, turn that thing loose, and look at that ball location. One foot in front of the numbers, JJ goes and gets it and falls into the end zone for uh, one of the bigger touchdowns we've had in a critical moment this year. Um, once again, number eight to number 18, uh, even when the defense draws it up to take it away, um, he's able to overcome that. And, and with a pitch and catch like that, that's a big time. That's, my, that's my, my favorite Jefferson catch of the year because the defense wasn't supposed to allow that to happen. Yep. It still did. Yep. So for him to be able to do that and for Kirk, it's, it's, it's truly amazing. Just the growth, though, of from you know early on in the season where a similar defense might have been able to take him away, just how he's learned all the subtleties to win despite coverage, despite leverage. Um, it's made him a really, really tough cover, and it's all the credit to him and the work he's put in to just continue to grow every single week with Keenan McCardell and those receivers, a uh, huge part of our team. Well, and hopefully we can have a few more JJ highlights next week right here on Vikings Film Room with head coach Kevin O'Connell.